In Seton's next game, they began a run of three home fixtures against high-flying Whitehaven AFC, who sat fifth in the Wearside League table. Like the previous match against Wolverson, there was a strong breeze blowing along the northeast coastline, which would again have a massive effect on the match. This week, manager Mark Lawrence had some new signings available to him, with the additions of David and Sean Wilson. This enabled him to also name a strong bench, as Seaton looked to end a horrid run of form at home. Before the game though, Mark had a strong talk to the team to try and boost their spirits. I just say a bit before the referee knocks us out, um, the last few weeks, just, well, the base has been fucking shite, it hasn't been good enough. I know there's a few new lads here today, but basically it's been fucking shite, we've been struggling. But we've got a decent turnout today, so we're just asking, all I'm asking 110% out of everyone. Daz, I know you don't normally play in there mate, but all I used to today, just plenty of graft. Well, same with everyone, but just don't give them time on the ball in there. Yeah. Plenty of graft, just fucking get stuck into them. I yeah. the like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, lad, lads out wide, Ben Sean, the pitch is fucking massive. Let's use the whip, use the whip, let's get balls in the fucking box. Try and get chances, that's all we can, yeah. Two lads up top will get us chances all day long. Yeah, yeah, like, Bailey plenty of fucking talking at the back. Yeah. Was right. If we can, play against the wind cast yeah. we'll get it out the fucking way, yeah. Right, well. Alright, come on up for it, fucking come on, right? oh, yeah, boy. Seaton looked to start the game strongly and maybe sprung a few surprises against the opposition and almost scored an early goal when Ben Goodchild was put through on goal but saw his powerful drive well saved by the Whitehaven goalkeeper. Whitehaven also looked strong on the attack and nearly had a goal themselves when a free kick was played in the box and their unmarked player hit his free header straight at the Seaton goalkeeper. After this there were a few chances for both teams, Seaton again going close with a long range strike from left midfielder Sean Wilson, but it was Whitehaven who took the lead in 42 minutes. A lovely ball played over the top caught the Seaton defence out and the league's top goal scorer Kevin Connolly was at hand to finish it off. Whitehaven nearly scored a second straight after, 
their free kick being well saved at the post by the goalkeeper. Whitehaven went into the break with a slim lead, although in all fairness the game had been quite close and it was only the goal that really separated the two sides. There was still a good chance for Seaton to get something out of the game. The second half produced very few chances compared to the first, until right towards the end of the game. Seaton's best chance was a David Wilson free kick that sailed well over the bar. Whitehaven had some good chances of their own and nearly doubled their lead when Jonathan Donat was sent through on goal but his cheeky lobbed attempt missed to the right of the target. They did however double their lead in the 75th minute. A corner was sent in and a scuffed shot by Anthony Berwick somehow found its way into the net. The second goal seemed to really spare Seaton on to try and save the game and get something back, and in the 85th minute they managed to pull one back through captain James Paler. After this, Seaton huffed and puffed, but unfortunately this was too little too late. They could however be proud of their efforts after more than matching their higher ranked and post -op. They could be however proud of their efforts after more than matching their higher ranked opposition on the day and were unlucky not to get anything from the match. In their next fixture, Seaton faced Hart and Westall Colliery Welfare. Could they get some revenge for the 7-3 thrashing in the previous month, or would the agonising wait for three points continue?